It's a lyrical baby. We can have it on these pop drums How we gonna stop them Every day is the same thing yeah. All these unsolved issues I guess it's official Here we go again The same boy thing And I'm telling me Are you winning? I can So goodbye Good morning everybody It's your girl Miracle Sims And you're listening to God, Sex and Love your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is June the 20th, 2024, and today the topic is He Will Supply. Happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you guys had a wonderful Wednesday. Mine was just fine. Yes, mine was good overall. Um, Highlights from yesterday. I recorded an episode of the GSL Talk Show. Um, I had the meeting that got rescheduled the other day. And yeah, everything that went according to my quote unquote plan uh for yesterday. Um yeah, those are the main main highlights. Um Yep. <laughs> trying to think is there anything else significant to share. I mean, I've been having interesting conversations with NJ about change is coming, kid, change is coming. Um, so that's been interesting. Um did a check-in with Hubby as well yesterday to just kind of see, like, where his, his mind is about everything. But, I mean, I guess it's an exciting time, right? Um, knowing that our little guy will be starting school soon and um, knowing that, I mean, we've already started to incorporate some, I think, good changes um, and additions to our life, like the whole soccer thing and, and all of that. So, you know, we're going to see where everything goes, but it's, it's an exciting, I guess, time. Um, I'm, I'm still thinking about my, my hustles, you know what I'm saying? Um, thinking about adding on another one, (laughs) um, another one that I can control. So be on the lookout for that. If your girl, um, invest in that sometime soon, then, then you guys may hear about it. I'm pretty sure. And like I said yesterday, I was really, really engulfed in this whole thing about my birthday, Turning 38, y'all. Um, I know it's like a month away. And my, I was telling my husband about some ideas. He's like, you know we got time, right? I'm like, yeah, I know. But I just got to make sure stuff is in place. Unless y'all going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, him and my friends, if y'all going to take the reins and, and plan it, cool. Um, but if not, then, you know, I got to, you know, put some stuff together and put stuff in place. Um, shout out to my homegirl, Elizabeth, a.k.a. my virtual assistant um, over there in Kenya. Um I ran by a few ideas with her. Um, I got her assistance to buy me some restaurants. I know, I know, man. (laughs) She probably like, girl, I don't live there. But um, it's greatly appreciated, man, because I was looking at different restaurants. And not say I was getting overwhelmed and frustrated, but I just was like, oh, there's so many choices and options. And I don't want to pick the wrong one. And then, you know, da-da-da-da-da. So I was like, oh, I'm thinking too deep about it. Let me just get somebody that's unbiased or whatever to just look, you know, and see what stands out to her. And so that's what I did. And so she sent me a list of some options. And um, I sent that list to my men folk, (laughs) which would be my husband as well as my homeboy, Kelvin. Y'all know him. Um, You know, my brother from another mother. Um, And yeah, man, uh, we'll see if we can narrow this thing down. (laughs) Um... But anywho, so yeah, I'm excited about the birthday plans. I know even NJ was like, can I come? And at first I'm over here like, well, because I don't think he can come. Oh, because I didn't, I didn't tell y'all what it is yet, but um, I don't think he could come. But my husband said he might be able to come. So, hey, I'm like, fine. Well, as long as he put on a little outfit too, then he's welcome to come. Fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to see. Um, how all of this goes and what the Lord do. But let's get into this juice, y'all. Let's get into this juice this morning. He will supply. Oh, man. Uh, I guess the main thing that pretty much inspired this this morning is when I, um, well, I woke up earlier this morning. Um, but when I finally settled my heart and mind and things of that nature and grabbed my juice journal, right, um, the song He Will Supply was kind of just flowing through my heart and mind. And, um, it's the song by uh, Kirk Franklin, 
and I guess God's property, you know, back in the day, back in the day. <laughs> um, it's a good song or whatever. I, I listen to it every now and then. But, um, yeah, it just was flowing through my heart and mind this morning. And I looked at the lyrics a little bit, but I'm not familiar with it because, like I said, I think it all the time. Um, but once I started looking up verses centered around, he will supply. Um, ultimately, they were standing out this morning, and that is pretty much what I felt led to go deeper with and study today. And so... Um, I think we all can probably relate to uh, feeling like or maybe struggling with this idea that God will take care of our needs. Um, maybe because he don't always uh, give us what we want, right? <laughs> Which is just different. It can be very, very different, <laughs> um, different things, right? Um, but I guess as I was reflecting on that this morning, I was thinking about like, well, even when you know, we doubt, I mean, why don't we just remember what he did before, right? Why do we still uh, allow the doubt and fear to get in the way of us remembering again what he's already done and then give, and having that to give us the encouragement that he will continue to do and can do um, above and beyond what we even think. Um, I mean, matter of fact, again, I mean, when you read the Bible, right, and check it out. <laughs> um, it's saying over and over and over again that he will supply our needs or he will take care of us, things of that nature. It gives that, you know, um, imagery about the lily in the field and the birds and things like that and letting us know that aren't we worth more to God than these things um, and that he takes care of these things. Why won't he take care of us? But, you know, we humans, man, you know, we still out here struggling with the idea um you know, I'm, I'm throwing myself in the lump. I'm not sitting here trying to act like, again, everybody, you know, y'all, y'all are down God. <laughs> I mean, but I think we all have had those moments of of doubt and, and fear and whatever else you want to call it. So let me share some verses that hopefully will encourage and inspire all of us in regards to this. So uh, Philippians 4 and 19 says, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Obviously, what stood out to me the most in that particular verse is the word need. Um, you know, again, I can sit here and think back on times. Maybe I did not get everything I wanted, right? But I had everything I needed. Now, you know, um, I know there's some people that are, are definitely going through hard times, right? They're definitely going through um, situations that, you know, maybe it's hard for them to see. You know, again, how God is taking care of their needs when they feel like they don't have, you know, basic necessities and things of that nature. I mean, there are people that live that way. Um, but then all, at the same time, you know, there are people that like live simple, humble lives and are rich. You know what I mean? In their happiness, joy and peace. Um, I can get on NJ every now and then, but at the same time, and anytime we actually take the time to do it, it's really, really sweet. Um, so a lot of the times, one of the main things he requests to do with me is watching Little Bear. And on one hand, it gets kind of frustrating because I feel like he comes in at times when I'm trying to like woo sigh and I want to watch something that I want to watch, you know. Um, and then out of the blue, he'll come in and talk about something let's watch Little Bear. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, like kid, kid, I just sat down, like I just came to like woo's eye and then here you come um and it's for some reason it's almost like he doesn't think that little bear is on the big tv he thinks it's only on my device but anywho <laughs> um but every now and then we i go ahead and appease him right i go ahead and um, watch it with him and stuff and i mean obviously um uh, i don't know if y'all are familiar with little bear you guys can go look it up if you need to but it's basically um, this bear family, which I I keep trying to show him. It's like me. It's like our family because it's a family of three. It's the mother, it's the father, and it's um, little bear, the little boy um, and everything. And um, and I'm like, it's us. Look, I'm mother bear. Papa's father bear. You know, I keep trying to show him. He's like, but we're not bears. So <laughs> it's like, you don't want to use his imagination with that. But anywho, um, but they live a simple, humble life. Like, yeah, they got a house in the woods. And yeah, Mother Bear and Father Bear, they got, like, clothes. And Father Bear wears a suit, and, you know, and all that type of stuff. But for the most part, like, it's like they, they, they're they always just, like, in their little humble home. Like, their little cabin, you know what I mean? Like, there's no TV, you know what I mean? Like, 
Papa Bear is sitting in a rocket chair reading a newspaper, you know, things of that nature. And, and it's something about that is it's very quaint, right? Very um, special. I, mean, I know there's people that live that way. They say off grid, right? Uh, you know, and I mean, even with living off grid, they still can give you some of the conveniences or um, things that we live for those of us that don't live off grid. I mean, you know. But that's the whole thing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I was just thinking about <laughs> the humbleness of that and, and the simpleness of that and how, again, there's individuals that can be very, very content with that life um, and things of that nature. But some of us, you know, we have all the things and we still not content, right? Um, and I guess that's the... Um, and I'm not saying that that's the main issue, but it's just something that was standing out to me um, in regards to us understanding that God can and will supply um, our needs. Um, and I think that, again, we've been through a lot of different things to to know that, right? I can look back on my life and say, you know what? In spite of everything, God always, you know, kept a roof over my head. I always had clothes on my back. You know, even in my roughest times, um, you know, back when I was living on my own, I felt like a, a very hermit season, <laughs> Um in Florida and things of that nature, I would literally only leave when it was time to go make some money like that, you know, that, that type of thing. And I mean, I might still be a little bit like that now, but, um, but that was really like a time, like, I don't want to run the gas. Like I, you know, don't want to, you know, go and, and, and X, Y, and Z, um, and stuff. Cause it was a hard time, you know, that I had just got let go from Disney. I was finding jobs and whatnot to do. Um, even at some point, like one job was taking too long to send the funds <laughs> after I had worked and I was like, and they wanted me to come and do another gig. I'm like, I still have not received the funds from the last gig. And, you know, you want me to drive to come to you <laughs> and, and do the, you know, do this gig again. Like, you know, until then, I, I might not be able to come X, Y, and Z. Um, Cause that's how I guess quote unquote tight it was. If, if that's uh, an example, but anyway, um, yeah, but even in my lowest, lowest times, God has always been there providing, right? Always been there making a way out of no way and things of that nature. And so um, I guess at this point in my life, um, because of that, I try to remind myself of that in my moments of, I guess, weakness or doubt or fear to say, you know what, Lord, you know, I know you're there. I know you'll provide and I know you'll, you will supply. Let me give you guys another verse. It is Numbers uh, 23 and 19. It says, God is not man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will he not do it? Or has he spoken and will he not fulfill it? I mean, there you go. It sounds like you got a promise in the bag Um, when it says that he, he's going to take care of us. He will supply things of that nature. Um, I get that we'll still doubt that. Um, but I guess I, here, here's my, um, I don't know, call out to believers, right? Because, again, unbelievers, I get it. If you doubt this and stuff, like, you know, you, you you don't acknowledge God. So how could you expect him to do anything, right? Or how could you, you know, believe that he'll do anything, things of that nature? Like, you you got to get to another level of, of um, I guess, humble. <laughs> you know, humble yourself to accept that God is there. So I'm not necessarily talking to you. Um, believers, right? Um if you claim to believe, right, and you say, okay, the Bible and Jesus and I believe all this and this is accurate information, right, then, I mean, I feel like it's, we have more responsibility to believe what it says and to live accordingly. Like, so I, I do struggle when it comes to, like, I guess, talking to believers and things of that nature where it's like we doubt the words that are in the Bible, which I get it. Hey, don't, I ain't, ain't never really asking questions. I'm not talking about the asking questions and the being inquisitive and making sure. Like, I am not talking about that that part. I'm just talking about the part of you say you believe in Christ. You say believe you believe in God. You say you believe in the Bible, things of that nature. But then the things it's saying, we don't either know, acknowledge, or believe. Um, and, and it shows in our actions is what I'm saying. Like, we might not say we don't, but our actions is saying we don't. And it's like, so what is it that you really believe? It can't be the Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or it can't be what you say you believe because you're not living according to what you're saying. So 
I mean, I know it may sound radical and crazy, and I say that every now and then on here. I'm like, look, I know I might sound crazy, but I believe that I'm crazy enough to feel like God will take care of me and my family and, and all the different things. So now I'm at this place of peace. Now I'm at this place where I'm not worried about any of the things that I normally or most people are worried about. I know people talk a lot about adulting and things of that nature, and and I get it. Yeah, you know, I got bills and stuff like everybody else. Adulting is, eh, you know, it's adulting, right? Um but I'm not feeling like it's the most horrible time in life. You know what I mean? I'm not feeling like, oh, it's just because, again, this may not go that way or, or the way I think or whatever the case may be. Now I'm more open to whatever the Lord wants to do. And I feel like, again, the more open I am to what God wants to do, the more at peace I am. Um, I could share that all day long. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. But, I mean... You know, that's just that's just the question I would say that if you're a believer, if you say you're a believer, things of that nature, then why don't we live accordingly? And why don't we believe what it says? It says he's going to take care of us. It says, you know, um, he will supply our needs, things of that nature. And so let's believe and, and walk and live like he's going to take care of our needs. I mean, I don't know. I find myself to be more at peace as I do it, but. We all got free will. Choose you to this day. Who you going to serve? Um, I got another verse. And it is Hebrews 13 and 5. It says, keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. <sighs> money, 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 money. Money. Um, okay. <laughs> um. And I know y'all probably think, well, Miracle this is weird because every other week you talk about another job and because you're trying to get more money. Um, I don't necessarily say, so here, here, it, it, this is one of my difficult things. Like anytime people ask me, so how much you want to make? And how much you want to do this? And da, 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 like, what's your goal, your financial goal? I, I don't have numbers for that. <laughs> I, I just don't. Like, I mean, I don't know. Some people do, you know, I want to make six figures right some people have specifically what they want um and maybe who knows maybe i would get more if i did have a number i don't know i don't know but i just know when when people have asked me those different things um that's not necessarily something i'm particularly thinking about so even when i think talk to you guys about yeah let me i might add on another side hustle or, or whatever the case may be um and sure it might be to get more money i'm not gonna see and be like oh yeah i'm doing it all for free or something but um it's more about, for me, <laughs> I feel like it's more about um, either access to things I want or um, providing, you know, things I like or um, providing another avenue for God to be able to move through, you know, um, things of that nature. Like, you know, I guess the way I feel or at least at this point is I see that, okay, um, I know people talk about the multiple streams of income and all that different type of stuff. Um, and I guess I look at it like, I mean, how can God, yeah, and now obviously he can do whatever he want to do. So not just God in particular, but I'm just saying if I have the inkling, right. Or if I'm encouraged and inspired to create another stream and things of that nature, um, then, I mean, there is room and, uh, multiple ways for God to move. Now, Again, he don't need me to make the stream because he can do whatever he want to do and make it by himself. I can just have some drop right into my lap. Um, and he's done that, you know, so I'm not going to sit here and say um, that. But what I'm saying is that um, the the my pursuit or the things that I share here or this whole idea of me adding on and things of that nature isn't necessarily because I have a certain goal financially to reach. Um you know, I guess I don't love money that much. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess that's my example. That's all. Um, I say all that to say that it's not necessarily the love of money that is my purpose or goal as I pursue doing things. I think my purpose and goal has been using my gifts and talents. My purpose and goals has been, you know, again, wanting to, um, I mean, let's just leave it there because that's pretty much what it is for me. Like, Using my gifts and talents in every aspect, like whatever God has put in me, I want to be able to use it and, and things of that nature. And I try my best to live my life accordingly and do that. Um, now, if those things provide things financially, great. You know what I mean? That's not going to hurt my household. Um, and if it don't, then still cool. You know what I mean? At least it's something that I did, you know, and do. Um, 
So I guess we got to really, really think about like, what is our goal at the end of the day? Um, is it, you know, our trust in God? Is it our, you know, faith, things of that nature? Or is it just like, again, the, the money, money, money thing? Um, I get it. We needed to quote unquote survive, right? We needed to do things we need to do and things of that nature. Um, or we can live like a little bit, <laughs> a simple, humble life. I don't know. But, um, you know, think these are just things to think about. Um, and I think that it will affect uh, your life overall. Um, again, what you're pursuing, why you're pursuing it, and things of that nature. So, I mean, those are the verses that I felt led to write down this morning about, you know, he will supply. Um, you guys can go deeper. There's plenty more verses at openbible.info. Just plug in that phrase, he will supply. And, you know, I'm sure there will be plenty more verses that will stand out that you can let peruse um, and marinate on your heart, soul, and mind. But the Bible verse of today is Matthew 6 and 19. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth for where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow. If the Lord's will. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah. We have a new episode of the GSL Talk Show coming out. But I didn't write the guest name, so I don't remember right now. But I'll write it down tomorrow and I'll tell y'all who she is. I think it's a lady. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah, talk to you all tomorrow if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there. Check out the options. Consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show. But we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.